and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and it is a Thursday full of, of days um, and probably people being thirsty or something. Um, hey, welcome. It's great to have you here. Um, so I'm going to be back in Create Mod today, as the title says, because I try to tell the truth in the titles most of the time. But a um, couple of things. First off, um, I'm going to, I started recording for a video on Tuesday. I'm going to try to finish up most of that today. We shall see if that actually happens, but that is the plan. So, well, so let's get in there and let's just go ahead and get started. All right, and we'll start, of course, the sun is setting, that's fine. We can go with that, but let's see. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get a clip real quick because I was doing a little work off camera and I uh, should probably mention that. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. All right, so doing a little work and I've got basically the walls done. So let's, I can free cam around. I've got far side done as well, the ocean side and all that stuff. So a few of these sections had to be a little bit smaller just to deal with the geography and the geometry of the building. But I think it's good. So I've got, I guess, another step to do. And so I'm going to sleep and then we'll get into that. And excuse me, I've been dealing with a little bit of a cough for some silly reason, probably because, probably because it has been so freaking dry here. I live in a desert and in the winter, it gets very cold and what little moisture in the air freezes and you get none of it in your mouth when you breathe or in your nose or anything else. Consequently, there have been times I've woken up and have been uh, coughing because my th mouth and throat were so dry. I, I really need to maybe invest in a humidifier or actually, I think I have a humidifier and maybe I should think about getting it out of the closet and using it. That would probably be wise. <laughs> but, you know, that that involves, you know, finding it. And that, that's just no fun at all. All right, let's get on to the next step. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be doing up here is I want to put a roof over the sugar farm and probably over the cactus farm and the sugar factory, right? The paper and the sugar contraptions over there and I think the way I want to do this is I want to come in um, over the top of this here like this now I do want to get in underneath that glowstone right and so I'm just gonna run this and basically create a second floor all right now I'll probably mention it again when I, because I think I've got a, another, actually, I've, I've got lots of clips I need to record, but I am going to be uh, probably, I don't know, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to put anything else in this building, and I've been kind of leaning towards yes. So what I've been sort of, what I've been thinking about is and I think I mentioned it some in the stream uh, on Tuesday, but I think I want to come in here and maybe put in a um, nether wart farm and probably a bamboo farm. So that's going to be, I think it's going to be fun to get them all in place. And, I, and honestly, this seems like a really convenient place to put it. So I, I'm doing the... It's like a puzzle. I'm doing the outside edges first. 
Mostly because it's just going to be a lot easier to get these in place from down here than it will be from up top. No, but I think it's going to be kind of cool to have all of the... Um, Oops, darn it. Most of my growables over here, or growable resources, right? So the sugar, the bamboo, and I'm bad at placing blocks. Uh, the sugar, the bamboo. Really? Really? I want to do it right this time. I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, I get the sugar, the bamboo, the cactus, um, and the... Um, nether wart, just have all of that in this one building, I think that's going to be really cool. All right, so I'll talk about that again in a clip, I'm sure, later today, but that's. I think that's going to be the plan. Now, I'm not going to do the other two farms today because I really, I don't really have a good plan for how I want those to look, right? I mean, I, there are definitely options, right? I mean, I could, well, I mean, it's create mod. I can do lots of different things and they're all cool. And I'm almost certainly going to see the cool thing about this gantry is it gives me the benefit of a flying machine without the quirkiness of a flying machine, right? Because ultimately that's kind of, how this is behaving. Well, I can sort of do the same thing with the bamboo, except I can't use harvesters. I think I have to use drills. Yeah, I think I have to use mechanical drills. And I have to do some testing uh, before I can get started on whether or not a mechanical harvester will replant nether warts. And I'm fairly certain it will not. And that being the case, I'm going to have to rig up a machine to um, harvest the nether wart and then replant it. And that's going to be an interesting uh, combination of things that has to happen. Not particularly complicated, but that's going to be a lot of deployers if I have to do it that way, so... And I, I think I'm doing okay, but to be perfectly honest, uh, brass is definitely something I'm starting to run kind of low on, so it's not that I couldn't, uh, couldn't get the brass I needed. It's just going to take a little extra, it's just going to be a little extra hassle, you know what I mean? Oh, but I'm definitely going to have to set up a mining session at some point to uh, get more get more copper and get more zinc. And I was... Uh, I'd heard rumors that this was the case, but I was watching... Um, oh, was it B-dubs or maybe um, Tango in their Create series? Uh-oh. <sighs> Darn it. That's not at all how that was supposed to happen. So I was watching their create series and okay, I don't know where I'm going to end up, but cool. Um, but they they were able to move a spawner, which I thought was kind of cool. As I said, I'd heard rumors that that was possible. <clears throat> well. While I was placing the rail, you know, the train tracks for all of the trucks and stuff to, to service the factory and that type of thing, I found a zombie spotter fairly close to the surface too. Now what would be really cool would be to take that spawner and turn it into a zombie farm and, act, and actually more accurately turn it into a drowned farm 
because if I can turn it into drowned, hit that sucker. Oh, I don't. Oh, jeez, I'm out already. Wow. Um, hit those guys with a looting sword. I can get all sorts of copper out of it. And that's awesome. In fact, I think what I'm thinking of doing is taking the basic um, ENX04 copper farm that it's, heck, I built it over in uh, season two of Going Solo, and you might have seen it built a couple of times um, I think Exuma built built this farm over on Hermitcraft. And heck, I think he and Pixel Rifts built it over on um, Empires as well. It's a very simple farm. It uses the reinforcement mechanics to make it super effective. And... Uh, if I can move a spawner then I can arrange to get this thing wherever I need it. And maybe I could add a little bit of oomph to that, to that farm. Because one of the big deals with it is you have to be sure that... Wow. Okay. You have to be sure that you get all of the... Uh, or you keep some zombies in there. I broke mine um, in going solo. Because I let the... I accidentally killed too many of the zombies. Turns out, if you have no zombies, you uh, can't slap them around and call for reinforcements. It's not great. So, with... But with the spawner, I will always have zombies. So, that's something I need to figure out. Now, one of my holdups... Is one, I don't know where I want to put it. Which seems like a reasonable problem to have. Uh, but also, I don't have looting. I need to f browbeat some of my villagers into uh, giving me a looting enchantment. Doing light level by soups. Oh yeah, light's going to be great because of all of the... All of the glowstone. Perfect. All right, I think, yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and cover up the other side. Um, this is probably a little early. It's one of those, I have to, I really should wait until it's uh, late enough for the redstone to turn off, and I don't think I did. I think I have to wait till... 7.30. Not that I can't trigger it on my own. See, there it goes. But, because uh, I certainly can trigger it on my own, as uh, I just demonstrated. But, all right, I have to leave that open. I'm not even sure how much I can cover it with glass. That's it's one of those things I don't use daylight sensors often. Just in general, I just don't. So I just am not used to how they operate and what actually sets them off and all that good stuff, right? So You know what? I'm going to leave that Oh no, that's the Right. Okay, that's the link up to that. These guys turn off on the other sides of these, so I can cover that. I think what I want to do is maybe leave those open. In fact, do I have... Oh, no, they're over there. Okay. Alright, I'm going to have to go get more, a lot more logs. This is... I have severely underestimated this, uh, the size of this project. Not that it's going to make that big of a difference. Oh, really? 
because I have lots and lots of logs. But still. And I suppose technically I don't have to cover this up either, but. I mean, technically I don't have to do anything. It's Minecraft. I can do all sorts of, you know, random gobbledygook, but. Let's go over here, grab some more slabs, because, ouch, I need them. Um, also, probably some new knees after that landing. Ah, oh, that is, uh, I like elytra, but it's hard on the knees. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and, I don't need that much, in fact, let's, take about that. That should be okay. All right. And as I get closer to being out, it'll feed automatically from the factory, which is great. Um, all right, let's grab some slabs. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Oh, do I have... Ah, I do have more rockets pre-made. Awesome. Actually, I have lots of rockets pre-made because, hey, paper factory and gunpowder factory. Um, I am all set when it comes to those things. All right, so that's there. I should actually... Where was this one? It's probably, like, right here. Oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, I just want to leave those open. Might be good if I had, like a trap door or something. I but I I want to know where they are so that I can um, when I decide to put something up here, it'll just I'll I'll know where those those are. Yeah, cuz kind of what I'm as I've been looking at this a little bit I think what the plan is going to be... Oh, I should also probably get down here and make sure my light levels are going to stay good. Just as I cover this up, and I think it's going to be fine, but it would just be annoying to have mobs spawning in there. Um, But, yeah. But I'm kind of thinking what I want to do is see I've got room for stuff right if we come outside here if I match that I actually have room for three more uh, PSIs right so I can set three more stations which means I could do some fun stuff over here right if I set these up for the storage I could actually set up maybe three farms here. Or factories. I tend to... Th I use farm a lot because, you know, Minecraft and you just build farms, right? But I, I tend to be thinking anything I'm using native vanilla mechanics as a farm and anything that's create mod is a factory. <clears throat> right? Does that make... Some semblance of sense, maybe. Anyway, um, given the space I've got here, what might be interesting to do, let's definitely block off some of that, um, what might be interesting to do would be to um, maybe put in something like the I was I already mentioned the nether war farm put in some bamboo but maybe I could figure out a way to do kelp up here as well and have my have kelp generated here which would be which would be convenient I had a I had a plan in fact I even have some things laid out for it for a kelp farm um, or a kelp factory out in the ocean which seems like a oh darn it okay 
Yeah. All right, this is going to be... Maybe if I take this, build this out. Preferably without falling, that would be cool. And preferably by putting the slabs in the right place. Okay, I'm going to have to go make sure that those slabs don't end up stuck somewhere. I When I was uh, building out the outside of this, I accidentally dropped some green glass on the belt over here. Yeah, just like that slab is there. And it, um, it just backed up the cactus farm something fierce. And, you know, wasn't, wasn't great. So, alright, nice, so let's go ahead and get, I'm going to cover up the cactus farm anyway, just because that's going to look good. I might leave this side open, but that'll depend a little bit on. I don't know how I feel in the next 30 seconds. It's, I, I am having... Uh, I'm not going to say I'm indecisive, but I'm definitely having uh, moments of indecision. And also... Using all of those blocks. Alright. And yes, I can just get back here and place that. Okay. Again, totally unnecessary. Well, unnecessary. You can see them from the window, so that's actually probably necessary. All right. Not a huge deal here. But I do need to put a back wall Actually, and sidewalls around the cactus to uh, keep the cactus actually in the farm. Because it keeps sort of popping out to the outside. That's not ideal. So, just uh, get this in place. And just see, I've got some deep slate tile. I wonder if I have... How much more I have? Probably not much, actually, now that I think about it. Ooh, it might be good. Yeah, I don't have any here. So, let's take a look here for a minute. Um, yeah, looking through this glass back at the cactus, I think, obviously I'll be able to see that. I'll see the ceiling. Yeah, I, I was just, Thinking that maybe I wanted to use some uh, concrete or terracotta, green of course, to uh, as the backdrop. But if I do that, the cactus is all going to sort of blend in, and I don't want that. So, but I do want to separate it a little bit from the exterior of the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these bricks. And three times yeah, okay. We'll just uh brick up some of that too. Alright. Cool. We got this. It's gonna be fine. Just realized I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. I just had a I had something on my end, just not set right. It's all good. You know, it's kind of... I kind of want to be able to see some things, right? All right. Um, let's see. If I take this out... What's the light level going to be out here? Oh. Okay, yeah, I've got to get down there and do stuff, too. Um... <laughs> 
let's do this. Just to be sure our light's not uh, going through. But let so let's come in and let's put in a little bit of of uh, glowstone here. All right, just to um, there. I really need to get depth strider. But I I just want to put a little bit of light here in this water. It's not spawnable. And I don't know that the cactus needs it, but I want to spread a little bit of of uh light through here so you can see it through the uh through the window. All right. So if you're over here at night and looking at stuff and want to see things you totally can all right cool all right now this should so let's see i'm going to be running <sighs> okay it's fine. Working with slabs is fine. All right, so that's going to go there. So Yeah, I think I'll take a couple of uh take the blocks across the top here just to sort of seal that in. All right, that's fine. We can have all sorts of fun building the things. All right, now I th I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough. Uh, let's let's see. Okay, I should have enough. Oops, keep hitting the wrong buttons. Looks like I'm going to have enough light here. All right. You know, it's not going to matter. It's not. This doesn't matter. I can just put slabs in there. I can. I don't have to do it this way. I'm going to, but I don't have to. All right, do I have enough? Oh, right. <sighs> and just make sure everything stays off the feed line that's not supposed to be there. So close. I need, I need three more. <laughs> That's it. I just need three more. You know. <sighs> Let's do it this way. All right. This will work. All right. Cool. So we'll just get in here. And now let's grab the planks here. So that's that one's gonna come out. Right? And we get the planks coming across here like this. There we go. Wonderful. See? Nice and easy. Okay, and now that'll keep all of the cactus in the farm so it won't get stuck on the sides like it was. That's a win. This, however, that block right there, not quite winning. Not the way I, I was sort of hoping. All right, so let's take a look at what this looks like from down here. Oh, yeah, that's that's looking fine. 
And I kind of like having the acacia there rather than replacing that with different style of fence. So, okay, cool. Now, what to do over here? All right, I think what I want to do is let's leave. Well, let's do a couple things. I think I want to move this scaffolding. I'm going to keep it around temporarily, permanently, semi permanently, something. Uh, it's going to come in here. And that's going to be. Um, that's just going to be a nice way to be able to get up and down while I'm doing stuff under there. Eventually. All right. Cool. So now. I feel like I missed a block under there. Nope. Okay. Cool. Did not. That's wonderful. All right, just load up under there. Now this, because I, I think this place is going to get dark if I'm not careful. So, just slap a torch in there. That spot is dark. Okay, doing okay. Yeah, it looks all stupid down here, but it's fine. I mean, it works and. Nobody's going to see it, so. All right. Cool, and I think what I'm gonna do, I'll go ahead and run this across, but I'll leave this open for now. Good news is that I've got lots of space. I can come all the way back over to here if I want to, to put in vaults and things, so. That should be good. I mean, I have to have, I have to have a couple of spaces so I can put in a, um, a dealy bob here, right? Got to have a dealy bob, so I can put in a mechanical belt to feed into the um, PSIs. But that still is going to give me some room and. It's not going to be huge, but I think I can make it work. So, whether I, however I lay in the storage here, and, or even if I don't put the storage here and I put the storage up top, right, I can, right, I could just truck everything over here and dump it off, right? I've got, I've got lots of room here to play with, right, so... Definitely lots of room. All right. Grab a drink, record another clip, and then we'll get on to the next phase of the thing today. Ah. Because I have planned. Yes, it, it, it happens. I plan things now, apparently. Sometimes it even helps. All righty. All right, so I have slabs over the sugar cane and the cactus farm and the whole factory over here. I've left a gap because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put at least the bamboo and nether wart farms up in this area, okay? I'm also thinking I might do kelp, which would be awesome. And I would put the output for those three right here. And this would sort of match, right, if I free cam over. There are those three for the paper, sugar, and cactus. If I put matching PSIs here for nether wart, kelp, and bamboo, that would look really cool. And give me a little something extra to do with this building. And, you know, just it gives sort of a uniformity, which is kind of, kind of slick. I like that. So... Awesome, so now the next thing I need to do, well, 
The next thing I need to not do is put a roof on this building because of the aforementioned farms I think I'm going to put in. I don't know quite how much taller this is going to be. So we'll let that sit and then I guess I'm going to sleep and then we'll move on to something else. All right, let's check the time. Yeah. You know what I might do? is run a little bit of redstone and put a redstone lamp in here just so I can see when this is lit. So if I'm over here and wanting to sleep or not sleep or whatever so that the sugarcane farm can go, I can see that. And I think with the kelp and the nether warts, and maybe even the bamboo. Um, I may do the same thing as just tie it in with the daylight cycle. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I've got some, some thoughts, I suppose. All right. So the next thing. Next thing, next thing. How do I want to introduce this? All right. Here's what I want to Here's the, all right, I think I've got a plan. I think I know what I'm doing. It's, I know, it's weird. Sometimes I kind of do. This is one of those times where I think I, I do. All right, but I want to start over here. Because, <laughs> you know, recording is fun. All right, now that I have the sugarcane farm pretty much where I want to leave it, I guess I can take the scaffolding down, because that's cool. Um... Let's meander over here to the mob farm for a moment. Now, you can see I've got some steel girders out. I've laid a little bit of test track just to lay out some things. And I think what I want to do over here is add a wool farm. So I can get all 16 colors of wool. But there's one other thing I want to do. And this is why I want to put the wool farm over here instead of maybe over where the uh, wheat field is or anything like that. And what it what it is, is actually kind of cool. Let me show you. All right, let me go, let's grab some shears real quick. And, cause this is, this actually is kind of cool. Uh, those are not shears. Those are also not shears. And I don't have iron on me. And of course I put my shears away because I'm not going to need shears. Why would I need shears? That's silly. That's fine. I've got some wool here. This will work. I won't even have to shear anything. Cool. So I'm over here at my little crushing machine. And check out what happens. If I throw some white wool. I've got 14 blocks of white wool. And I turn this thing on. Notice how it's getting ground up by the grinder here. What does it grind into? It grinds into string and it grinds into a lot of string. I put in 14 wool and I get usually always two and sometimes uh, three string. I think it's like a 50% chance for a third string to come out of this. Well, I already have a string farm-ish over here with the mob farm, right? I've got skeletons, or skeletons, I've got spiders that sometimes drop down here and get sawn into little bitty spider bits, and they drop string, which ends up in this lovely, lovely uh, vault over here, right? See, there's string. So I had to think, why not have if i'm going to set up a wool farm why not ha have a, a few sheep where their wool just gets dedicated into the grind to become string to help this fill up nicely and then i could do some efficiency stuff up with the mob farm i could block it off for creepers obviously but then i could also block it and stop spiders from spawning 
And that would be awesome, right? Because the spiders keep getting stuck. They get stuck in here. They eat up the mob cap. Fewer creepers spawn. So this makes all sorts of sense. So I'll just tie things all up in this one neat little bow over here. All right, now before I get too far along, I keep doing that. I do want to grab some track because I want to be sure. Oh, I should also get some. Uh... All right, well, I've got some cobblestone on me. That'll work. No, it won't. Let's, I mean, yes, the cobblestone will work. I actually want grass though. Let's get some grass or some dirt. I probably have scads of dirt somewhere. There we go. That's probably fine. It's not, well, it'll go into a chest for a while until I dump it back into the storage. I don't have to climb that scaffolding. I could have taken off from over there. All right, well, it's the wrong place, but that's okay. I can get out of here. Walking is a thing I can do. All right, so what I want to do is let's grab some of this dirt. And I want to come out this way. Now, yeah, so coming off at this level. All right. Cool, so I think what I want to do is let's put some track. Like over here, I've got it a couple of blocks away from the building. And each of these girders represents where one of the PSIs is going to go. So I can put track here, right? That should be, that should be okay. All right, and again, I'm going to have to do all sorts of landscaping here, but what I want to do is let's let's take this and I want to see I want to see if I can get this over here and connect that up. All right. That's going to be okay. I was a little bit worried about how this was going to go. And I think that's going to be fine. Um yeah, and I can be two blocks away from the walls, and that's great. Now, could I link these uh, and actually had just one track here? I could, but I kind of liked how it looked around the different buildings. So, we're not going to do that. And that's fine. It's all the fine in the world. Oh, okay, that's less fine. All right, I gotta take off the boots. Diving boots are cool, but they do cause you to sink, which is their uh, redeeming feature, but it does become a problem. All right, so now if I'm gonna come out this way, right, so I'm, again, track is two blocks away. Should probably get the track, but let's see if I can get over here and connect. All right, to right there. Wonderful, and I can come in and fill this in, but perfect. And then what I need to do is uh, bring that track the rest of the way around. Fortunately, I have. Looks like I've got plenty of dirt, or at least sufficient amounts of dirt. Don't know if I have a sufficient train track, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so this I want to bring out. Not holding it off track. Okay. Okay. I just want to get the track around the building. Okay. 
it'll be a nice little loop. And probably... Oops, not... Oh yeah, that's... What's that there? What that is there for? Um, great, out of tracks, huh? Okay, that's fine. Um, it's not too hard to make more, right? Do I have... I don't think I have much stashed over here. Do I have some more cobble? All right, well, that's fine. I've got some stone. I just need slabs, I, and I need... They need to be stone and not cobblestone. Oh well, yeah, which is fine. Just, uh, just uh, grab that. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Now, I think, ah, uh, I itches. All right, so we'll throw that in there. I think I've got. That's not what I wanted to, where I wanted to put it. I'm fairly certain I still have lots of yeah, lots of ingots in there. All right, we'll let that uh, do its thing for a minute while my eye itches and my nose itches and all around my skin itches. I just have an itchy face today. All right. Also, apparently it's nighttime, so let's sleep. <laughs> You know, like you do. Um, and I do it a lot, and probably too soon. <sighs> well, sugarcane did not go off today. Uh, it's okay. All right, let's. I'm just going to grab a stack. We'll let that do its thing. Because I'm not going to get that much track. But. All right. Now let's go ahead and bring this around this way. To there. Nice. So. Got some lovely track going around the building. And I think. Just for my own. Sanity. And I think it's going to look good. Does this come out the same. Not quite, but let's go ahead and, oops, darn it. Let's go ahead and bring this over to, oh, not enough pavement blocks. I need more dirt. Fortunately, I have a lot of dirt too, so we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. Should do it probably Ow, that's my face, and now it hurts. And ow, face. That was my ow face. All right. So let's bring this to there. Again, probably not essential. But I do kind of like the idea that I have a train... Right, that can go around. Actually, I should probably even... Let's... Uh, this is probably a mistake, but... Actually, it's probably a mistake doing this whole thing in dirt in the first place. Should have should have used cobblestone. Let's go ahead and... Um... Okay. All right, let's come back from somewhere around here. And let's see if I can loop over to... Okay, not there. We'll do it this way. And I can go to... Ah, oh, it's too sharp. Because, yeah, I was just thinking it might be nice to... Well, no, these stations are going to go that way. The trains are going to go that way. This is fine. This is this is going to be peachy. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. 
All right, so. Oh, I should grab some other things while I'm right here. Like some redstone. Why? Because I need dispensers. All right, so let's go ahead and put the track back in there. And I need go and put the dirt in there. Grab some bows. All right. Dispensers. Well, definitely not enough there, but it's all right. Oh, dispensers are such a pain to craft. Honestly, when I get to automating like redstone item construction, uh, dispensers are going to be one of the first things I craft because, oh, they're such a pain. Okay, do you need more of those? All right, so let's go ahead and droppers. Man. I kind of wish there was a... Um, a recipe that you could take a dispenser and just add bows to it. Or take a dispenser and just add um, string to it or something. You know, string and sticks. Right? And just have that craft the dispenser for you. Right? Something like that would be cool. It would make crafting dispensers a lot less painful. And I think I may need more than that, but we'll start there. All right, so now, oh, the PSIs need to be up one block, which is fine. Do I have? I don't, but I do have those and it's casings and a shoot, huh? Well, I have some shoots, but not nearly enough. So, well, I mean, I've got shoots. I don't have enough casings. That's fine. I've got... I could totally see why it, in the Crete world the hermits are doing, they've... They're, uh, Tango's like, yes, we are going to... Uh, absolutely automate the the construction of casings and cogs and stuff just because they get used all the time all right oh i may not do i have andesite alloy that's the next question Ooh. um Andesite alloy. Uh, yeah, that would be fixed. No. Fiddlesticks. Um, it's fine. It's fine. You can you can totally um, find more of that because yeah. Andesite. Cool. Grab a couple of stacks of that. Fortunately, I can automate, or at least uh, a lot of the, the busy work, once I get this all out of the way. Alright, that's actually fine. Go back, that can go back. Alright. Alright, so step one. Throw these guys into the mixer. And crank that sucker up. There we go. Ah, uh, so we gotta wait a minute. So while we're waiting for that to happen, um, because I want to get the PSIs in place so I know where all of this stuff is gonna go. Um. Uh, so. Just wait for that first stack to happen. Um, yeah, now the good news is I already have some sheep. They're over here. I 
think that's enough of them. But if it's not, I have lots of wheat and I can breed them easily, so. That's fabulous. All right. So we'll take our first stack. And the strip goes there. The andesite goes there. Turn that guy on. See? Nice and easy. Also, fix that because... I accidentally made that brass at one point and it, it, I want it to be andesite so it matches everything else. Oh, man. So, everyone having a fun Groundhog Day? You feel like you've lived this Thursday over and over and over again? Cool. All right, and that's still mixing. All right. Should be pretty close to being done. I think you get... One alloy per andesite and iron. Yeah, there it is. All right, so I need... Ooh. I don't need 32 PSIs. I do, however... I'll, I'll take half of that, though. Or I don't need 64. 32 is not bad, though. All right, so those can go back there. And now, let's uh, take that out for a minute. All right. Now comes all of the fun of doing the uh, construction here. All right, so I think what I wanted to do... So I do have a space limit, right? Because I've got to fit between the wall and the mob farm. Right, so it would be nice if I uh, kept all of that in place. Oh, I keep forgetting. I need to let the clock go a little bit. Let night happen some. All right. Sure. Excuse me. I think I've got... I have some plans here, too, that I think are going to work out nicely. So, assuming I don't have... Oh! Okay, no, that's fine. I can just pull off that. No, it might be better. Yes, I think that would actually be better. Let's, if I put the clutch, right. Um, oh no, it's being, those blades are being powered by that. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I'll not worry about that. All right. So I need, oh, I need actual grass. <laughs> Dirt is great, but Sheep eat grass, not dirt, so. Oh, let's get over here and grab some grass. Fortunately, I've got a fair amount of that, too. But All right. Keep forgetting, grass is green and not yellow. It's the joy of being in a savanna. I mean, it's this... The grass is a very yellow-green, you know? All right. So, let's grab some vaults here. And I think the way I want to do this... How do I want to do this? So, let's just get all the PSIs in place over here. Okay, so that I, I know where everything is supposed to go. All right. All right, so PSI, there we go. Portable storage interface. There, and. All right, the, so the plan is to have 
eight sheep on each side, <laughs> right? Coming off this side could be a problem in the corner. So I might have to shift one or couple of them around to the other side and that's perfectly fine. I've got the room to do that. So, okay. So I want to take a vault and I think for the sake of working around the machinery, let's go up this way. Yeah, because that'll come across this way. I've got the room. All right. And then, that might be a little too big too. So we'll play with this a little bit and we'll, and we'll find out. But let's see. Um, right. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, better. Uh, sorry, a better idea of an idea I have not told you yet. All right, so let's get. Yeah, so wonderful. I want to grab Hopper. All right, so let's start building up the first one of these, and I'm still kind of playing playing with this um, as far as what do I want this to look like or you know how much space am I going to have and that type of thing. So right now I'm kind of looking at maybe a four by three Defi definitely or was I, yeah four by three definitely four blocks possibly two only two blocks this way I don't necessarily need that much wool but you know, it's worth a shot. Now, the way I think I want to handle this, and this this is what's going to determine the width, is I'm going to take the hopper here. I'm going to take the grass here. Now, this is where the sheep is going to stand and munch away for all eternity, right? It's just going to sit there and eat happily. But I think what I want to do, yeah, I'm going to have to... I might have to just move this redstone link over here, which is okay. Um, now I'm going to have to shorten this up or move up. I've got lots of vertical space, so let's do it this way. Put this hopper here. We'll do grass. Oops. It's not how it's supposed to go. We'll put the grass here like this. Okay. And so now this is where the sheep are going to grow uh, and eat grass eternally. Now let's throw in some other fun stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to need here is... Okay, an observer. I guess I'm going to have to craft more observers. Wonderful. Um, great. Um... At least I have plenty of observers. They'll be fine. Okay, I don't. I've got plenty of cobblestone and quartz and a usable supply of redstone because I have villagers. Now, what I need is... Well, those are in case chain drives. That's not what I'm looking for. Um... I need some fans. I thought I had some, thought I had some over here, but apparently not. So let's come here because I think fans may require andesite alloy. Also, I think I can drop off most of that spruce. Ah, <sighs> inventory space is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Cool. And I'm not going to need the glue for this section of contraption, so let's go ahead. 
yeah, just throw the glue in there. Um, chain drives, saws. I'm gonna grab through this. Ah, an encased fan. Perfect. If I want to, because I'm gonna have to craft up a bunch of these things. Um, propellers, casings, shafts. So a propeller is an alloy and lots of sheets. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna need 16 of these little guys. So let's go ahead and pick up a stack of sheets from down here. Yep, I'm gonna have to set up an ironworks and then do some other fun stuff, but for now. Got loud cars driving by. Whoa. All right. So there's a there's 16 of those guys, which is sufficient. Plus I've got casings and shafts. Okay. Cool. So this is where things are going to get fun, I think. <laughs> here's here's where I'm hoping it's going to work and we'll just fingers crossed, right? Um So, let's see. I need All right. So Here's the plan. Stick a Nope, that's not how that goes. All right, where's my fan? There's my fan. All right. Oh, sorry. That's not the sound that should have made. Yeah, no, it's creepers plummeting to their death, which is great for my uh, gunpowder production over here. Got a quarter of this thing full, which is great. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so we've got that going. Um, let's grab some cogs. Actually, um, I don't know that I need cogs. Take that back. Put those cogs away. Um, I do need, let's grab those casings. So I can. Grab all of these encased fans. Now. Oh, here's the other thing I wanted to do. Which uh, I should probably turn off the farm if I want to do it. I want to add another row of saws to this. Because um, I do get spiders occasionally that end up hopping up on this ledge before they get sliced into little bitty bits. Um. If I put another row of fans there, that'll stop that problem. <laughs> They'll just climb up on whirling saw blades and it'll slice them into itty bitty bits for all of their stringy goodness. And, you know, spiders being somewhat stringy, I suppose, are, uh, you know, I guess that's normal. So, all right. Oh, I should have. Hey, I still can. I said I, sh I should have brought the uh, shulker box with me. I can. This is the joy of it being a, a shulker box and portable. So, again, waiting for night to fall a little bit more completely so that I can. Uh... All right. All right, so now I need. Okay. This is going to be. This is going to be interesting. So. Um, let's, for my own sanity. Let's just. I think that should. I think that should lock that hopper. So let's take that out for a minute, just to be on the safe side. All right. Cool. And let's see. So I need a dispenser. 
And we need some glass and I'm gonna need, all right, dispenser. How do I wanna do this? Cause I, I need to have, okay, so that's gonna be there. All right, let's maybe take this out. I do need, I'm gonna need some grass like here so that this can, uh, because the grass has to regrow, right? So I'm gonna need, oops, nope. All right, so it's gonna go like that. And then, I do need it to watch, but these things need to be too tileable. So let's do it, let's take that out. Oh, what if I were to do it that way? No, not quite that way, but that way. Um, well, actually I could do this this way. It's just going to take more, it'll take more observers. Um, cool. I'm, I'm out of, I'm out of observers. All right. Nice. Well then, um, I'm just going to need a couple of things. It, it's, it'll be great. Totally peachy here. And let's get... All right. And let's fall down in this hole because holes are great. Oh yeah, no, no, this is just... Yes, all of the falling! I have fallen and now I, I can get up though. So that's, that's better than it could be. All right, not... Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. I don't know, how tall is a sheep? <laughs> That's, are sheep one block? No, sheep are taller than a block. Hang on, let me check the Minecraft wiki. If they're taller than a block, then I'm gonna have to rearrange that. Height, 1.3 blocks. Okay, so they will not fit there. All right, great, okay, cool. So, darn. All right, so plan number the next one. You know, sadly, you observers are not smashable with the thing. All right, so grass is going to have to go there. And then, I mean, this is okay. I just need to figure out some other stuff. So that means the dispenser's gonna have to go there. Um, okay, that's, that's a solid block. If I put grass under that, it is gonna go to dirt, I think. All right, so that's gonna go there. And then, too wide tileable. I can't do it that way. Okay. No, that's fine. I can I can do it this way. Observer goes there. It just has to see it, right? So cool. Then I can come back under here with let's use deep slip tile. And I think I can just use a torch evader, right? I just go up like that and a little redstone dust. No, <laughs> no, no, can't use redstone dust. I Can I use a repeater though? I think I can use a repeater because they're going to go the other Right, they're gonna go that way. All right, so now if I take this out, I 
Here, let, let's uh, throw something in there. Throw a dispenser in there. Or a slab. Cool. And now, if I were to take this grass block, from that That may have may have gone too fast. Huh. Alright, this is my redstone newbiness showing. Okay, so that's see when because when this goes off. Right, that should, oh, well, it's not lighting that up at all. That would definitely cause problems. Um, all right, let's try it this way. All right, where's my redstone dust? All right, and if I take a piece of glass right here, then the dust can come up that way and or no what happens if I put a if I put a torch on top of this actually this probably needs to be a solid block okay put a torch on top of that and then okay that click was a good sign. Now, that was not ideal. <sighs> All right. See, that went, but it didn't trigger this. So, All right. Yes, because my... I think that I can... I'm almost certain there's a way to make this work. I'm just not. You quit giving me redstone. Thank you. All right. Because, yeah, that'll flash that, but this doesn't do anything. So, cool. All right. So, now, if I run this across this way. Oh, now I'm at the observer problem. Let's go craft up a zillion observers. Because, you know, it's, it's going to be... This actually is going to be really cool if I can get this to work the way I want it to. So, cobblestone. That's fine. Um, oh, I need quartz. Just drop that off there for a minute. Uh, quartz... There you are. Four, five, six, seven, eight is all it's going to take. Because that's all the cobblestone I have in my inventory at the moment. <laughs> um, all right, it's like, what do I not need? And, you know, stuff that okay so got that we've got that let's grab some more quartz and we'll just craft up as many of these things as I can okay still probably not enough because I think I need um if I end up using two of these, I'm going to need 32 observers. Of course, everything I've got is completely renewable, so that's not going to be that big a deal if I have to go get more. All right. Let's get back over there. And I'm in the wrong spot. That's okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to come up. Okay. 
Okay, so I want this observer facing. Come on. You can do it. You can go that way. And I think if I just throw... Okay, I've managed to lose all of my redstone dust. That's just... Well, no, I crafted. <sighs> okay. I think this is going to work. I have to make sure that the uh, shears are going to work with this rig, but... All right, so now... Okay. I think that was good. So we'll throw that in there. We'll take the grass... Okay, and I think that fired. It did not. Awesome. I mean, I could just do it this way. It's... Oh, it's expensive, but it'll work. Yeah, see? That will work. Uh, it just means a lot more observers, but that's fine. Okay. Cool. All right, so this will work. So let's do a quick... Uh, quick deal here. All right, so let's get a hopper in place. Now, this should... fill stuff here. Let's oops, let's just throw a couple of things into the hopper. Yeah, they end up there. And then if I were to take a uh, brass funnel so I can drain out the garbage that's now in there. That's not the funnel. Cool. All right. All right, all right, all right. This is this is going to be cool. So we'll set that to 16 just because that's what I've been doing. Out of belts. Man, I am out of everything today. Okay. Nope, that, that's fine. All right, let's do a quick clip and, and I think maybe show how this is going to function. After I... Yeah, because I'll, because if I stack up another one here, yeah, that'll keep the sheep in and I can get the glass and all that stuff. Okay, this will work. Okay. All right, so let me show you sort of the bare bones of this first machine, right? So the idea here is the sheep is going to stand right here in this little happy spot with this encased fan pointing at it. And then here's the dispenser, which will hold all the shears. Now, here's where things get fun. Just like your regular vanilla sheep farm, I have an observer watching the grass for when the sheep eats. Okay? Again, very, very normal here. And then what's going to happen is the sheep eats, the grass turns, it triggers these observers all around this, and I may play with this circuit. I'm not 100% thrilled with it, but this works, so it's okay for now, it's just expensive. Anyway, so this runs, triggers the dispenser, which will then shear the sheep. All right, now here's the catch, right? In order for, in a vanilla farm, to collect the wool, right, it's gonna sort of sit here. Well, that's, great and all, except hoppers can't pull through solid blocks, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this encased fan. It's going to blow across, and when the items drop, it'll blow the, the wool right into the hopper and into the vault, right? So I don't have to worry about hopper minecarts or any of that nonsense. I'm just going to blow the wool right into the hopper. Hey, Ryder, how's this going? Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a fabulous day. All right, so, yeah, I think this is going to work. I have to, obviously, get some glass up and stuff, but... 
and of, of course, uh, some stuff to make this fan blow, but I think this is going to be a good start. Let's, is that really, yeah, I think just to make this all fit in this space, I think that's just going to have to be, so yeah, it's going to be expensive, but I, I think I can live with that. All right, so yeah, that needs to be there to keep the wool from popping out past the hopper. I mean, sure, I could put another hopper there, but glass is cheap. So, okay, right, so I can do that. And getting the, all right, let me just temporarily put some glass here on this grass block so that I can put the next dispenser down. Because this, these things are a pain in the neck to deal with because they're all directional and they don't... And you can't rotate them, you know? Ah, it's so annoying. Of course, glass blocks are probably the worst block I could use as a temporary block. That's okay, I guess. Just because they're really, really slow to <laughs> pick up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So that'll go there. Let's uh, make sure this is all set up so the sheep can't get out. All right. Nice. So that's going to go there. I do need... I didn't bring any iron with me, of course. Um. Okay, that's fine. I have to go get a sheep anyway. So... All right, well, let's go grab a lead, grab some iron, and we'll see if it's, this thing is going to work. It should be fine, right? Everything should... Come on. Let's try that whole flying thing again. All right. So I think I left some leads over here because I'm organized and stuff. There's a lead. Good enough. Also... That redstone I left. Cool. And... Oh, right. Iron. Iron, iron. Oh, iron. You know what? Let's, let's just grab a stack. That'll be fine. <laughs> the stack should work. Actually, the nice thing, too, about having the... Uh, the iron where I have it, or the, I could fly here, I know. Having this, um, this dispenser here, is I could, um, I could actually set a hopper on top instead of that glass block and just be able to actually do a, a I don't know, a minecart with chest that will run around and just load load these things up with uh, with uh, shears and stuff if I need to. But, let's go ahead craft up some shears. Okay, and that can go back in there. The shears can go in there. And it's raining because of course it is. It's okay. Step out of the rain. Yeah, you know, nobody like wants soggy wool, right? That's just soggy wool is no fun. It gets all kind of smelly and just uncomfortable. Also, I do kind of have to be up there. All right, that's okay. That's fine. I'll just fly right uh right here into the sheep pen and uh Okay, it's your lucky day. Come on. Let's see if... Alright, watch out first. Did I actually think about... Nope, I didn't think about putting a gate in there. Um, Cool. Well, I've got some stone. So we're fine. Alright. Come on. There we go. If I were thinking, I'd have put it just a little bit further away so that the 
sheep had more room to bounce out of the pen, but... That's right, you're gonna... Well... That didn't go well. <sighs> Alright, maybe I should just... Grab another sheep. Alright, um... I don't have a, another gate. That's that's really the problem is my lack of gate here. Um, all right, let me go see if I've got another gate. I'll just... If I can slap one of those... In, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm here. I'm here. I'm fine. It's okay. The pain doesn't last that long. All right, let's go see if I have any of these made up. Oh yeah, perfect. Less perfect is all of the eggs. You know, if I were in need of an omelet, I'd be set, but I am not. Let's go and just dump that. Okay, thank you. All right, so. Also, I should probably just dump the mutton too. I'm not gonna eat uh, I don't need to eat mutton. I have steak. All right. What's the time is reasonably okay. All right. So I've got the wool or the lead. I've got the gate. Cool. Oh, man. This is, you know, moving anything and any mob in the game, moving it's a pain in the neck. But I mean, the sheep are Nearly as bad as villagers, really, but it's annoying anyway. Now, the, the problem I'm going to have is there are a lot of sheep. Actually, there's just a lot of animals in this pen over here, so. Let's see if I can do this without letting too many of them out. Okay. That's right. Um, cool. All right. Now let's grab a lead and a sheep. All right. Come on. All right. Fine. I, uh, chickens. Got chickens. I don't need chickens. Not yet, anyway. Some point in, in the, well, distant future, probably. I may need chickens, but today is not that day. So for now... We're just going to take the sheep over to its... This is a stubborn sheep. Come on, man. I've got a new forever, forever home for you. You're going to love it. It's not... You won't have... You won't be crowded in with cows or, or chickens or all those other sheep. You're just going to have room to yourself and you are going to love it. All right, now I think what I should do <laughs> to make life a little bit easier f for uh, for me getting these sheep, this uh, sheep up here. Wait, where'd you go? Come on. Okay, you're going to come this way. I probably should have grabbed some wheat too. That would have made sense. All right, come on. Okay, it's, I'm actually impressed that the sheep was able to climb the ladder. But uh, yeah, next time I do this, I'm bringing wool or bringing wheat. Okay. All right. Um, let's just, uh, there, slap some stone that way. All right, come on. Let's, let's come on up. Yeah, no, this is great. You're gonna... Sheep is gonna... It's just gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a pain. Let's go... Okay. <laughs> Do I have inventory space before I try to come over here and grab some wheat? Alright. Not need the egg. Alright. I also don't need all that wheat, but... 
hey, at least I'm 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 upset for for wheat. All right. All right, come here, sheep. You're going to come up this way. Right? No, apparently not. All right. We're going to come up this way. There we go. All right, up. And you're going to come right up into this hole where you want to live your your life forever. Right? All right, sheep. We're going to do this. You're going to plop right down in the hole. It's going to be... Okay, quit being all pushy. You know, no wonder it doesn't work. The inside of the brain, sheep's head is hollow. Okay, come on. You can do this. I know you can fit in there. I fit many sheep into many small holes. And, uh... Oh, okay. That's not good. This is not good at all. See... Please don't tell me I killed the sheep. Aha! Nope, sheep is still alive. Perfect. All right. Um, you know what would be really cool here? Let's try this. It's kind of silly, I suppose, but at least it gives me something to push against. Or push him. There it goes. See? That was... It was easy, right? To totally easy. Um, easiest uh, sheep moving ever. Okay, so the sheep is now in the in the box. Let's go ahead and just block that off. Oh, what a mess! I'm gonna have to do shoot like 19 more of these guys. All right, so now this is going. Cool. Oh, man. I don't know. It's like, what would what would be worse to move, sheep or villagers? It's hard to say, but... All right, let's... Uh, okay, now that's all up here. Sorry. It's all powered by the speed controller, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and... Pull out some of this dirt. Now. Alright. So I need to come up and connect with that. Once I'm connected up there. I think I can feed just about everything I need. So. Let's see what other fun and exciting things I can do. Oh, look. Wheat. Wonderful. Alright. Alright. Ah, stuck. All right, so what I was... Oh, yeah, what was I doing? I was getting gearbox. Actually, probably going to need a couple of those. And I already have the shafts. Wonderful. It's actually going to be vertical gearboxes. All right, so coming up from behind right here. All right, and now this is still going the right way, again, because it's powered by the rotational speed controller. So everything is flowing in the right direction. Great. Um, okay, please, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, but this time by putting things in the right place, huh? All right, so... Vertical gearbox is going to go there. That comes out. This is going to become a regular gearbox. It should go right there. Oh, I'm so good at this. I can't believe that I have this uh, so much of the, the skill that is ahem, totally, totally on display here today. Totally. All right, now I just heard it go clippy clippy. And what I should do, in all honesty. Oh. Well, hey, it'll drop out of there, I suppose, when it comes out. Um, actually, let's let's just 
lock that that way for the minute. All right. Yes, this is this is going to be cool. So now, assuming I've got this working right. All right. So, whoa. Ah. Ah. Okay. So the sheep has been sheared because it ate stuff, and that's awesome. Hopefully the grass will regrow because that's the way it's supposed to work. And then, right, so that's going to go there. Let's just go that way. Now, assuming this is blowing the right direction, it is not cool. Um, let me grab another, some more gears here. Oh, this is going to have to be. Um, all right. Uh, um, what do I not need? Uh, redstone. Redstone I don't need. Okay, let's try this again. Grab a vertical. Okay, you stop that. I need a vertical one. It should go here because I have to reverse the direct. I can't click on things. It, it's a problem. Okay. So now the fan is blowing and the wool should blow right into the hopper. Assuming I've got this right. Now, I currently have... This is where it's going to come out. I currently have it set so it's will lock everything in, into the vault. But if I turn this around, um, oh, I think I picked it up. That's not how that's supposed to work. I'm not supposed to pick it up. All right, let's let's try this again and see how this works. All right, we we'll just take this off, and again, I'm gonna just close that off for a minute to make life easy. All right, we throw the wool in. Looks like it got blown across, and I don't see the wool. It's not in the... All right, well, now I just need to figure out where the wool went. Um, Because now, now I'm confused. Where did the wool disappear to? Um, okay. I'm going to have to block that off. <laughs> Suppose it could have gotten blown across somewhere else, but... Alright, so that's going to stop the breeze. So, anything that blows out should end up in the hopper. Which then feeds into the vault. Which then... Oh, right, because I have this set to 16. All right, I'm an idiot. It worked. It worked fine. I just had this hopper set to dispense 16 items. So the two wool that it had, turns out that's less than 16. And it wouldn't dispense more than... Ah, darn it. <laughs> so it wouldn't dispense the two wool that were there. All right, so... Again, this should work just great. I throw the wool in. It'll get blown into the hopper. And then right out of the vault. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's how this is supposed to work. Oh, it's nice when things actually work. I know it's it's so rare for me, but it does actually happen sometimes. All right, so I'm just going to turn that off for a moment. Now, the good news is because I'm going to have a belt, it's going to be belt fed here. I don't have to worry about anything like uh, uh, redstone to lock this vault. It'll just stop. It'll drop out what it needs, and that'll be it. Now, what I am going to have to do, I don't know. I might have to make this go a little faster, but I think I'll be okay. Um, it's not going to be like a, a blazing fast feed line here, but I could also change this to drop out say 32 instead of 16, right? Just slightly larger stacks. Alright. Nice. So this is going to work great. Now I just have to hope that that grass actually spreads, which it should because I'm going to have lots of grass. 
Um, you know what? Let's just put all of that stuff away for the moment. All right, because that's going to be... That's going to be there as well, because I said I need the grass to spread all the way around. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fabulous once that grass grows. Of course, it does need light to grow. Um, there. So we'll bounce around, grab some of that good stuff. Ah, oh, yay, yay, yay. All right, nice. And yeah, here's hoping the uh, that grass will random tick. That's the that's actually my big concern at the moment, right? Is I think this will work, and the grass does spread across a diagonal, so that should be fine. But I mean, though, if I had to, I could replace one of these glass blocks with grass. No, it wouldn't spread down. So, wonderful. But, I think this idea is, is sound. So, let's go get some, we'll let that happen. I need to go get some stuff. Some kelp, that's the word I'm looking for. Grab some kelp. So that I can get a sufficient quantity of belts. And I'm going to need quite a few of them. I guess I could actually use some of this XP. Of course, I'm mending my elytra here too, so. Alright. Cool, and I can just turn all of that into belts. Wonderful. Wonderful. Actually, I can craft one more, even. Great. It's nice when things, you know, work out that way. Now, the one drawback to this, to where I've placed this farm. I should clean up that boat, too. Um... The one drawback to where I've placed this farm is it's far enough away that if I'm in my storage room, it's not going to random tick. This is the same problem I had with the uh, lava generator underneath the power plant. Is if I'm too far away, the lava wouldn't random tick and fill up the cauldrons. It's the same thing. Over here, the grass won't random tick and then it won't, uh, the sheep won't eat is not good so yeah we'll uh, hope for something here now hmm. all right no that's fine I was just saying how could I get this to feed all the way across this is gonna be fine because I have to feed in that way with the the Rotational power. I could just put another... Um, I'm not going to have room behind it, so I can't do a... Uh, I can't do a belt or something that way. But what I could do is I could set up a belt just running all the way across and there and there. And that'll work to a point. Though... What might be better would be to set up gears and just run a shaft around. I think that'll be better because I have to turn a couple of corners. So cool. So now is I'm just hoping that'll tick. Could you, could you please tick? That would be great. Thanks. Yes. No. No. That that's fine. All the the ticking. It, it's okay. The, the joy with of, of uh, random tick is it is, in fact, random, so. Okay. So that's going to go that way. Now, before I set this, the next one up, I am going to have to dye the sheep. Because I want all of the different colors. 
Actually, I guess I don't have to. I could just collect the wool, just the white wool, and then I can come in and dye them. Okay. Oh, yeah. It grew. Awesome. Yep, this is totally going to work. The grass just regrew, which is fabulous. So the sheep is going to stay happily fed. And I can now just build this out all the way around. Okay, that's going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. All right. Um, Actually, I have, I have slabs. Do I have more wood with me? I don't. I don't. I don't. No, oh, that's too bad. I was... Actually, I might have some left over here in this chest. I don't think so. I think I set this up for all the bows. Yeah. Bummer. All right. Because I was just thinking that uh, a trap door might be nice, but... Okay. Cool. So this is going to take... Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a pain to build, but it's not going to be too bad. All right, so this will come all the way this way. And the same there. Oops. Where's my wrench? There's the wrench. Ha ha! Wrench is victorious. Okay. Yeah, all of this is going to have to go. Unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit of a pain, but... Uh, well, actually, it's not going to be as much of a pain as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I mean, it does still have to go. <laughs> Let's not be silly. But at least I don't actually have to make it go away for this uh, project to finish. I can come in and clean it up, you know, all of this, uh, all of this fun stuff when I'm done. So, great. Ah, so much string. Let's see, I have, I should not be spending the time on, no, because I may want that string before I've got all of the, I don't actually, I think I have even a schedule to come pick up this string if I want it, so. Oh. I think a zombie villager just splatted, which is cool, but, uh, all right. Nice. So, where was I? I was in the process of building the stuff. All right, so I need observers and... Turns out now I need a lot more observers than I was planning. But that's, I guess, okay. I can make it work. All right. So that's going to. Oh, nope. Take my wrench All right. Oh, this is. This is painful. All right, I can, I can do this. It's right. You go there. You go there. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Just uh, set a couple of hoppers there, or and I could, I could just run a minecart with chest right across the top of all of that mess. And all right. Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, that's okay. It's not going to matter if this fires when somebody else, when another sheep gets sheared. It's, uh, it'll be fine. Because it won't actually do anything. All right. So now this is where things are going to get a little complicated because looks like I'm going to end up losing two sheep on this side, which means probably end up moving over here, which is not going to be a big deal. Just 
need to be aware of it. I said I've got that whole other side, so this will be this will be fine. Yeah, yeah. If I keep telling myself that, I will eventually believe it. All right, cool. So that's all gonna go back like that. And this is okay. Fine. You go. Yeah, that's right. You go that way. So that they get that gap right. Yes. Okay. And there it goes. Ha ha. Magic. Um. Is that right? Yeah, I do need to come up one more this way. And yeah, it's there. Oh, nope. All right, it's that way. Yeah, see, this is, I don't have to crouch for this. I, I am, but I don't need to. Because observers aren't like dispensers that are just messy. All right. Oh, this is, this is gonna be so cool. All right. So basically now I get to place one of these on top of each of those. All right. Cool. Now, I think, yeah. This will this will work out great. Assuming I can get down. You know, every once in a while, I realize that maybe if I put things in in the right order instead of just kind of pretending like I know what the right order is. I could actually make these builds go a little faster. You know, I know it's shocking, but I do. Okay, I do want these to go quickly, but apparently falling off my builds is also the way to go because I do that often enough. All right, so that's going to go there. I need the encased fans, which I think... Right, I think the fans are a pain, so let's get, uh, yeah, I've got to, I have to place them on something, otherwise they end up facing the wrong direction. Yeah, we'll see where that, that one ends up. Cause that's going to be a, nope. Any day now, you could face the... All right, fine. Okay, other than the fact I uh, crouched. I could maybe build out the vaults in front of this too, but... That, that could also be too efficient, so... All right. No, I can... Totally do this. There we go. And just because it's going to be dark and would be nice if I could keep things from spawning here. It would be uh, cool. So now I need grass in front of each of these. Okay, just like that. Nice. Yeah, and I should totally, um, do I have more hoppers? I do, I've got lots of hoppers. Cool. Probably not as many as I need, but uh, let's just, that should keep him in, I hope. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, let's let's keep that there. <laughs> no, no, you, uh, you, you stay. 
All right. All right, I'm going to have to go clean out a bunch of uh, things, but that's okay. Yep, see, this will be great. A little minecart with chest action. If I got really excited, I could even arrange for um, iron delivery and craft them on site and just make that uh, super awesome. But as it is, just... Uh, Okay, I'm going to take out half of those, but it's going to be easier to place them here first and then take them out. All right, so that's got to be glass. Well, it doesn't have to be glass, but it needs to be solid. Okay. Yeah, so where's my axe? There it is. Yeah, I guess I could leave the slabs there, but no, I want this to be solid so that all of the drops uh, do actually end up going into the vault. So this should be solid here all the way across. All right. Nice. All right, yep, so getting the, I hmm. wonder if I would, I want to use different colors. I've done that before where I've put a different color in front of the sheep. So you can kind of see which, uh, what this is, what color the sheep is. But in all honesty, I don't think it's going to matter because, um, I'm going to have the color, it's going to be on the thing here, right? Right, so I'm going to have these guys, right? And they're just going to, they'll have the wool color because the wool is sitting on them. So I don't really need to set up a special color for the sheep. I do need to get power to these so they're going the right direction but you know that's a I say a minor consideration but it is sort of an important one really when it comes down to it um if I were to take yeah let's take this guy and we'll just turn him there so this will go this way, and then I can run a, I can run a line out this way to these, yeah, to these belts, and it'll be fine. And they'll just, they'll just all be powered going this way. And yeah, then I can turn and should have room to go everywhere I need to go. Ah, cool. Oh yeah, and this is great having the fans. Just blow all of the, the wool into the hopper. Oh, this is going to be so convenient. This is going to take forever, but it's going to be convenient. <laughs> all right, so... Right, so I'm going to need vertical gearboxes. Um, for all of those. All right, so that I can connect. Oh, cool. That was, uh, that was awesome. And down. Well, threw that one a little bit further than I was hoping, but it did get me out of the hole, so I'm okay with that. Okay, I don't need... Well, for the moment, I don't need that to go that way. It's not as far as it's going. Um, yeah, what is that powered off of? Oh, yeah, that's, that's powered by this full thing in here. Oh. 
That's a mistake. Is it? Yeah, because that's that's a chain drive. That's get powered by this, which means when this stops collecting, it stops feeding. So great. I'll have to I'll have to change where I'm powering all of that. which actually could be really convenient because if I just run, yeah, I could just run power from there all the way over to there, connect it all up down there. And yeah, that'll be fine. That'll all get powered that way. And I won't have to worry about disconnecting this. Those will just run. Okay. All right, cool. I can make that happen. All right, nice. So now, okay, let's get these vaults in. It is about time for me to be stopping. So I want to get these vaults in place um, or I would like to get these vaults in place, but I'm apparently out of vaults. All right, well, I guess I'm out of vaults. <laughs> Uh, well, that's unfortunate. On the plus side, I do have like a, a zillion. I've got a, an infinite supply of wood, basically. So I've got plenty of barrels just waiting for me. I just have to craft this mess. But that's okay. Okay, well, apparently not. I don't have quite that many vaults. All right. Cool. Well, that'll be the first eight going this way, and then I can turn it, throw a couple more going this way, and so that'll be good. Yeah, probably need a couple more over here, and then the big, so I think probably four sheep will be sufficient with a, you know, dumping wool into the the mill here for to load up this guy yep I think that's gonna be great that'll be just peachy so oh wow okay so I've got a lot of building to do and apparently a lot of resources to collect but okay this is gonna be great this is going to be so, ah, so awesome. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So that's the first round of colors. In fact, if I make these ones colors, well, I mean, they're all going to be colors. Just maybe I'll put the black and black, white grays over on that side. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes once I get them all together. But that is going to be a problem for future me and something for the video to, coming out next week, I guess. <laughs> so I think we'll uh, call it for here. Um, yep, make sure I'm doing that stuff. All right, nice. So, um, Let's go ahead. We'll just whip over here for a minute. I do actually want to thank all of you for hanging out with me today. It has been great fun. Um, little, little bit of a challenge with the sheep and the stuff, but this is going to be great. I'm going to have all of the sheep colors that I need, all of the wool colors, so that's going to be great. I don't tend to use a lot of wool. Um, but it's going to be really nice to have when I want it. I'll tell you, man. Um, so my next stream will be on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, you can follow me over there on the socials. Uh, also Instagram, which I have, which is not showing up there, but Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Um, check those things out. And of course, follow me over on Kofi ko-fi.com slash music for gaming for some uh, extra bonus features and stuff. 
And if you subscribe over there, there's even more. So, again, check that action out. And uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.